Hi, my name is Ben Odom. I'm in New York City. I'm 5'6", and I'm with Ingrid French Management. He's just standing there, pool water dripping off of him, and you can tell he can't remember where he put his towel. He just like can't remember, but for like four seconds he's just standing there totally still. The only thing moving is the water. And in that moment, my brain instantly became a video recorder and my just instantly hit record and for like four seconds I just memorized. What did you memorize? Everything. Everything. It, his shoulders, his shoulders are narrow but they're sweet and round at the top, almost like knees. Uh, he has an amazing neck. He, the skin on his neck, uh, especially when it's wet, is just so soft and fresh. He has um, a little soft brown hair uh, on the top of his chest, just above his, covering his collarbone. And it's a little light crop dusting, like like if you were to blow on it like a dandelion, it would fly off and like dance in the air for a second and then be carried away by the wind. Uh, his nipples are red and hard. It, obviously, since he just went swimming, nipples usually gross me out, but Will's are... His biceps have just the lightest hint of muscle. Uh, one single vein runs beautifully up the arm like a Miro painting. Uh, it, not exactly straight, but it draws your eyes immediately to the canvas. You can see his little ribs, and you, you just can tell if, if you were to hold him in your hands. He'd be sturdy, but also feeling those ribs protruding, you, you just know that this was something precious, something that deserved to be treated with tenderness. His belly button is this totally adorable little innie, and he doesn't have a six pack, but he doesn't not have one either. It's just this totally sweet little stomach. And like, like if you were to wrap your arm around him and you, when you curled up with him in bed and you rested your hand on his stomach and when you just landed there, you would just feel instantly glad to be alive in a world where there are men whose stomachs are so sweet and you can hold them in your hand, in your bed. Do you remember this one? It's my favorite. Of course I do. Is this Chicago? No, this is in your backyard in East Meadow. Oh. And you used to take this photo to the beauty parlor and used to tell them to dye your hair this color but they could never get it as blonde as mine. <laughs> you know all the stories, don't you? I do. That makes me feel good. <laughs> Why? Because you know the stories and then you can tell them someday. <laughs> to who? To whom? Yeah, okay. To whom do you think I'm going to tell these stories, Grandma? To your children. Yeah, okay. How's your social life? It's bad, Grandma. It's bad. Is there anyone in your life? Anyone special? No. There is no one special. Is it hard to meet people? Yes. But has there ever been someone you cared for? Not that, um, um, not really, no. It's the most important thing, Jordan, to find someone. Thank you. I'm well aware. Nothing is more important than that. Uh-huh, yeah. You just have to meet your shirt. That's it. That's all I have to do. Just meet him. That's it. And, uh -huh. and you will. Because you're the most wonderful grandson in the world. I don't really think it works that way. I don't think just because your grandma thinks you're special that means you get to meet someone special. No offense. I know you will. I'm pretty scared, grandma.